put on makeup for you. How do you feel about that? Hi people. Welcome to Vita Day 12. My name is Tracy and I talk a lot. So I've been inspired with thoughts and observations about vlogging today and the key one right off the bat is we're all a pretty self-conscious bunch. <laughs> I don't know how many new vloggers I see uh, with ums and sorries over things that we don't care about, but it goes on from there. Like we are actually self-conscious about our vlogging in general, not just about the quality of our vlogs. I don't know how many times I have heard people comment about feeling awkward to vlog in public, including myself, of course. I got to thinking about why that is. This vlogging community of ours is rather insular. You're either a vlogger or a viewer, and if you're not either of those, you're probably not gonna really get what this whole thing is about. So walking around in public, holding a camera in our own faces, and talking into it. It's rather equivalent to walking around holding a hand mirror in your face all day. Or at least that's the way it seems like the outside world must see it. But in truth, we aren't talking to ourselves, of course. We're talking to our viewers, who are very, very real. And aside from vlogging in public, I think there's also a self-consciousness that the world in general has a misperception about vloggers. Whether it's true or not, I think vloggers perceive the outside world as thinking that all vloggers are self-obsessed attention whores. And that brings me to what vlogging really is all about. It's about people who are interested in communicating with the world. Now the people that I've observed on YouTube in who call themselves vloggers are more interested in building a sense of community than they are about me, 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 me. Now, I've been exposed to this YouTube community for a long time, especially on the bigger channels. I've heard people speak of it on their channels, and I've also observed it firsthand. But it's not something of which I ever felt really a part until now. And that's the most rewarding thing I'm getting about this whole Vita experience is I'm finally getting a sense, personally, of that YouTube community that I've heard so much about. But that brings up my third point of the self-consciousness of the vlogger, and it's not really of the vlogger, it's the viewer. You see, as a viewer, you are interacting with people who are opening their lives up to you through video, and you comment on their videos and their channel. Now, maybe it's just because I feel like I'm older than maybe the typical YouTuber, or I begin to feel a little bit like my attention might be perceived as something other than just friendly interest. <laughs> but then, by the same token, whenever I get attention on my videos, I'm very appreciative, and it tickles me to death that somebody can relate to something I'm putting out there into the universe. But all that being said, I'm really just happy that connections are being formed, and I am now feeling sort of a sense of community. You know, it's funny because I look forward to my favorite Vita participants' videos regardless of how long they are. And there are some participants who are especially good at posting what I call the quickie vlog. It's usually a little over a minute or even less. So I have a new goal of I'm going to accomplish the quickie vlog before the month is out. I will post a video that is less than two minutes or even less than a minute. Anyway, I am having so much fun doing this. I hope you're having fun watching, and if you're a vlogger, I hope you're having fun with Vita as well. I think it's pretty neat experience. I'll see you later.